After a summer of wheeling and dealing in the transfer market, it could be that the 18th and final new signing proves most telling. Stuart Bevan's deadline day move to Preston is the proven goal-scoring talent Graham Wesley was after to complete his North End transformation. The frontman's big money move to Wickham was confirmed late on Friday, but there's no doubting his record in front of goal. He grabbed 25 last season, playing for a team that got relegated from League One. The Lillywhites will hope he can continue in that form and fire his new North End side to promotion come May. It's a cracking fixture on the Preston Guild weekend with Paolo Di Canio's much fancied Swindon the visitors. The Robins have made plenty of new signings themselves and are one of the favourites to gain promotion with North End this season. It's three changes for the Lily Whites as Stuart Bevan is handed his debut less than 48 hours after joining. He plays up front with Akpo Soji, who gets the nod ahead of Chris Beardsley, who is on the bench. Forston Stuckman replaces Steve Simonson in goal, while Shane Cansdale Sheriff comes back into defence. Will Hayhurst and Andy Proctor make way along with Simonson. This is a real test this afternoon. No doubt that Swindon, although promoted from League Two at the end of last year's campaign, they've come up with momentum. You know, with the manager, we know all about him. He fires his side up, done really well so far. They're one of the favourites for promotion. But the way North End play the game on Tuesday night, you know, and the introduction of Bevan as well on transfer deadline day, it's built this game up nicely. Really looking forward to this one. This is going to be a cracker. It is going to be John Welsh and Stuart Bevan, the Preston North End's new number 29, who are going to get this game off and underway. Preston are playing in their white shirts, blue shorts and white socks. Swindon are in there all red. We're off and underway on the Preston Guild weekend here at Deepdale. North End against Swindon, two sides vying for a place in the championship next season do battle in the opening stages of the League One campaign and it's Shane Cansdale Sheriff playing it back to Thorsten Stuckman James Collins putting him under pressure Stuckman getting there first before clearing it out the throw has been taken quickly and it's with McCavily on this left hand side it's just been forced back as uh, it's played back all the way to the goalkeeper Fodringham from McCormack the uh, man who began his career at Preston, Flint over on the far side, playing it out towards the right for Devra, and again Preston doing their own job of uh, pushing the home side back, and Stuart Bevan's charged down the back pass, it falls here to Sodji, who's waiting for it, and dispatches it away! Stuart Bevan forced the error from the keeper, it fell invitingly to Akpo Sodji, and he scores his third goal in three appearances to Preston North End, and he marks his home league debut with a goal, but that all came from Stuart Bevan's uh, influence, forcing the error from the keeper, and Akpo Soji was able to arrive on hand with four minutes on the clock to put Preston North End ahead. It's Preston 1, Swindon 0, what a start. Well, welcome to Preston North End, Mr Stuart Bevan. You know, it might be Akpo Soji's goal, but... What about the work from Stuart Bevan? Chased the keeper down, never gave him an inch, charged the clearance down, fell invitingly for Akpo Sodji. Terrific finish, wasn't it? Right into the corner of the net, the keeper stood no chance. Shane Canstall Sheriff getting there too. Akpo Sodji not quite able to reach it. Uh, John Welsh battling forward against Navarro. The two former Tranmere players will uh, know each other from their days at Prenton Park. Here's Bevan now, though, turning and heading towards goal. With the outside of his right boot, he plays in Laird. Now back to the penalty area, and it's Nicky Rowe this time who makes it two. Ten minutes on the clock, Nicky Rowe scores. Everything he touches turns the goals at the moment. It's his fourth goal in six games at the start of the season. And Preston North End leads Swindon by two goals to nil. Ten minutes gone. Football's fantastic, isn't it, when it's played like this? You know, some of the interplay that goes on in midfield, absolutely terrific. The way Monacana has flipped the ball inside to awaiting Stuart Bevan. Out on the left wing is Scott Laird, completely in space. The ball in was magnificent. Nicky Rowe, nice little side foot into the corner in the net. Swindon just don't know what's hit them. Here's uh, Fodringham now with the ball inside his own penalty area. Bevan is again the one uh, putting him under a bit of pressure. Keen at right back looking for Monacana, who was seemingly being held there. 
But referee lets play continue. It's knocked over the top here for Akpo Sodzi to try and do battle with the defender. Falls to Bevan on the edge of the penalty area. Here's Bevan, strikes towards goal, and it wasn't far away. There was only a couple of inches in it. And Stuart Bevan pulling the trigger on the left-hand side is only going to compile the misery for Paolo Di Canio, the Swindon boss, who continues to shake his head on the touchline. Long ball forward from Keith Keane. Akpo Sodzi again showing the work rate, chasing the defender down, forcing the defender to have to head the ball out. Drops for Bevan, and you think left-footed. It's just going to creep inside that corner, creep inside that post. In the end, just drop the wrong side. Rooney playing it level square for Navarro. And now McAvely on the left-hand side. Comes back for Alan Navarro, who was playing at Brighton last season. And Rooney just operating in a more central role. Into the feet of Williams it goes. Williams on the edge of the penalty area, playing it out towards the uh, right-hand side. It's uh, with De Vitter. Again, playing it square for Alan Navarro. He's got a decent long-range shot on him. Comes to McAvely. And now Rooney on the left-hand side. Adam Rooney, Luke Rooney, shot. He crosses it into the penalty area. Collins with a header. Great chance over the bar. And Swindon's best opening of the game so far. Nicky Rowe, who got the second, is ready with the corner kick. And Preston are operating one of these uh, set-piece routines. They're all running in a big circle as the ball is played into the penalty area now. And again, the heads go up. It was Huntington and Shane Cansdale show if we were close to it. And uh, a wonderful ball from Welsh gives it back to Rowe on the right-hand side. Rowe crosses it in, but it's a deep one. Everyone had gambled at the front stick, though. Jeffrey Monacana will win it back, though. And Monacana now can try and run into the penalty area. Great skill. Monacana flashing it across the face of goal. Straight into the midriff of Fodringham, the swinging keeper, who makes amends for his early error. As uh, King sliding in, trying to win the ball against James Collins. Look at the Canio now. He's going absolutely nuts. Talking to his keeper. I don't know if he's going to change the goalkeeper, but he's called the sub-keeper back. Anyway, Rowe with the uh, corner kick in front of the uh, travelling fans. And uh, I think it is going to be the goalkeeper. This is, this is unbelievable. The Canningham's calling for the substitute goalkeeper, who is 18, and Lee Bedwell is going to be brought on very shortly. Rowe here with the corner kick for Preston in front of the travelling Swindon fans. Right footed in towards the far post. Bailey Wright nods it down. Here's Huntington, just trying to look for a teammate, but it's uh, sent away, and uh, Keane... On the halfway line, gathers it back. Swindon still struggling here as it's played out towards the far side. Bevan gets a bit of a clattering, but manages to get it at the second attempt. He's not going to be able to keep it now, but now this change is going to be made. And uh, amazingly, Swindon are bringing off their goalkeeper. Wesley Fodringham is being substituted with 20 minutes gone. And 18-year-old uh, Lee Bedwell is coming on for his Swindon debut. He has not made a first-team appearance, but Paolo Di Canio has had enough of Fodringham, and uh, he is hauling him off, and, uh, well, he doesn't look too happy about it. Bedwell is getting prepared to come on. Paolo Di Canio is waiting for his keeper, Wesley Fodringham, who has just kicked one of the water bottles, absolutely flying, and has roared at the keeper. He's now taking his shirt off, he's getting great abuse from the Preston fans and uh, Paolo Di Canio uh, is not having any of it, he is not even looking and uh, well, what an amazing start to this game Preston leading by two goals to nil Cavalli taking the ball in towards the penalty area and from the corner, Borson Stuckman punches clear comes back out to McCavley now on the far side with his left foot, he's going to curl a ball into the box Sodji knocked it away and it's with Stuart Bevan who tries to hit it early, uh, hoping to find the run of Monacana. Preston managed to gather the second loose ball, and it's with Monacana. He's got four players in front of him as he tries to find Bevan into the penalty area. He brings it down. Here's Soji! Just wide! Will be a goal kick, but Akpo Soji screams to the skies. Free kick, led over it, left-footed into the penalty area. Akpo Soji's underneath it, the keeper comes but can't reach it. And uh, Nicky Rowe will gather it after a, a slip by one of the uh, Swindon players. De Vita it was who couldn't gather it, and now Monacana with a fantastic turn. He's got it on his right foot, up to the edge of the penalty area he goes. Waiting for Rowe, who just tries to hit it, but uh, I think Monacana wasn't too sure what the captain wanted him to do. And in the end, as Rowe hit it with his right foot, it was always uh, just uh, arcing wide. Bailey right over this free kick now, just inside his own half. He's got Akpo Soji as the main target man. He looks towards Soji now into the penalty area. He's just pushed there inside the box, but no free kick from the referee. Here's Keith Keane. Doris fell invitingly for him 
to try and volley, but Rooney just smashes this one up in the air. Keane knocks it down, and McCavley will have a better go at trying to clear it long this time. Williams is the one who is trying to chase it. Barely right there ahead of Collins again. And John Welsh getting the ball down and setting Preston off and underway again with Monacana. Oh, wonderful play from Preston. Jeffrey Monacana streaming forward. Things opening up for him. Bevan's calling for it. It might fall for Bevan, but instead Monacana goes down just on the edge of the penalty area. The referee not even giving a free kick as play continues, but Stuart Bevan was free just square of Jeffrey Monacana. Some of the interplay again. Monacana's run, some of the one-touch passing. Fantastic. Keane helping this one forward, almost into the path of Bailey Wright. He's going to get there a second time, and he turns really well to keep hold of it. John Welsh trying to muscle his way down the line, and he continues as well. Has a quick look up before the cross comes in. It's blocked by McEverly and will be a corner kick. Uh, that was wonderful work again this time from the anchor man in midfield, John Welsh, who's really growing into his role in a Preston North End shirt. Started two games for Preston North End this season. It's his first home start in the league this afternoon and he's marking it really well Scott Laird with a corner kick, left footed deep in towards the far post, Benny Wright nods it down and it's gone in it may well have took a touch, I think Stuart Bevan is celebrating but uh, Preston North End have got their third and it's Stuart Bevan who is going to claim that having got the last touch after Bailey Wright's header from the back stick was nodded down and the man on his debut has scored for Preston North End he announces his arrival in style Stuart Bevan scores his first Preston North End goal on his debut and uh, with only a couple of minutes to go to the break it's Preston North End 3, Swindon nil. time is almost up at the end of this first half McEverly with the throw infield it goes the uh, referee has a quick look and brings an end to what has been a sensational first half action for Preston North End quite unbelievable Preston North End going into the break leading by three goals to nil and it's going to be Swindon who get us off and underway at the start of the second half three goals down and with Palo de Canio's half-time team talk still ringing in their ears, I'm sure. Here's Devra now looking for Bostock. Up into the feet of Collins. Back to Bostock it goes. 33 plays it in field as it's played out towards the left. Navarro here into the penalty area goes. Well blocked by Thurston Stockman in towards the six-yard box. The Preston keeper having to make the early save at the start of this second half. And it was a bright opening from the Robins as well. Comes back here for McCormack. He doesn't want to get caught in possession there by Keane and then just plays it down the line for Rafael De Vitter to try and gather. He plays it over the top for Williams, but uh, Andy Williams, the summer signing from Yeovil, uh, loses out. He uh, played his football last season with Huntington. And now Preston defender. Here's Bostock, the uh, half time substitute on a two month loan deal from Spurs. And he's trying to cross into the penalty area, loops over the keeper and lands on the crossbar and goes out for a corner kick. But Swindon have come out with a flea in their ear and they've started really well with their second chance and this time they've hit the bar. Huntington winning the ball in the air as Bostock here comes forward. Devra getting there just ahead of Scott Laird but Shane Cansdale Sheriff is quickly in but he's still got more work to do because it's De Vitter here into the penalty area finds the back of the net Swindon are back in the game it's Rafael De Vitter who has scored the goal and you have to say it has been coming with nearly 15 minutes gone in this second half it's Preston North End 3 Swindon 1 Here's Sodji now into the penalty area. Lovely long ball to him into the penalty area. It's uh, Sodji who tries to hit it and it was curling, but not quite curling enough to go in at that far post. But uh, after a quite few minutes, Akpo Sodji still alive and bursting into the... Penny right here tries to play it into the penalty area. Comes back to Huntington on the halfway line. Huntington sends a ball up high. Sodji trying to do battle, but uh, not quite. Here's Miller out for Bostock. Still in the sunshine here at Deepdale. 
Swindon getting the first goal in this second half. But Preston replying well with Nicky Rowe hitting a long ball forward. Akko Sodji, I think, just lost that one as it was reaching him, but he has kept it in now as he plays it in towards the six-yard box. Quality ball. The goalkeeper, Bedwell, did just enough, I think, to stop him reaching Stuart Bevan, but that's given the Deepdale fans something to cheer as Nicky Rowe tries to help on again, but he's lost out, and it's Swindon on the counter-attack. John Welsh here trying to give chase as uh, Huntington comes across well and manages to put the uh, block on and stop uh, Williams in his tracks. Scott Laird for Rowe now on the left-hand side. Rowe seeing the run of Bevan down the line and uh, manages to pick out the Preston debutants back into the feet of Nicky Rowe it goes. Rowe keeping hold of it well. Now Scott Laird on the left-hand side. He crosses it in. Sodji just wide! Another great chance to Akpo Sodji who did everything right and as he got his head on the end of that cross, it just went the wrong side of the post. Terrific build-up once again, Nicky Rowe and Scott Laird down the left-hand side. The ball in from Laird's an absolute peach, and you back Sodji all day long. Scott Laird is going to take it, he crosses it in towards the far post, and Sodji was the target, it comes off a defender, out for another corner kick, and Preston and the home fans will like to notch up the pressure again and force some uh, more opportunities for themselves against this Swindon side a goal for Preston now you feel would wrap up victory with 22 minutes left on the clock they lead by three goals to one but Swindon are experiencing a bit of a resurgence at the moment here's Scott Laird now with the corner left footed in towards the far post it comes up towards Sodje who just sees it away it's John Welsh deflected goes straight in I think John Welsh will celebrate his first Preston North End goal on his first home league start. Joe Welsh has surely secured victory for Preston North End this afternoon. It will be their first league victory of the season and hugely deserved for Graham Wesley's Lily Whites. It's Preston North End 4, Swindon 1. Absolutely fantastic. We said, didn't we, the next goal was the crucial one. North End worked a corner into the box. It's only half cleared where John Welsh is lurking on the edge of the area. Shoots first time, massive deflection, keeper no chance. North End now should see this one out. Ben Wesley in his last championship winning season in the conference with Stevenage. Came that he won win in the opening four games. It was... Now a couple of draws followed up by a win. And it seems as though that has been repeated here at Preston. Will Preston go on to claim the League One title? There is still a long way to go. Here's Rowe playing it in the penalty chair. Proctor with the header just wide. Great ball in from Rowe, who has got everything, it seems, playing as the uh, Preston North End captain in that midfield. Swindon put up a fight at the start of the second half and made things interesting with Rafael de Vitter's goal just before the hour to make it 3-1 but Preston weathered the storm got the next goal some 10 minutes later thanks to John Welsh and uh, now they're happy to see it out and uh, well, Graham Wesley is going to be very pleased with his weekend's work completing the signing of Stuart Bevan on Friday night claiming his first victory in the league and the full-time whistle goes it is Preston North End's first league win of the season but in what fine circumstances for Graham Wesley and the Lily Whites this afternoon four goals and they blitzed the Robins and Palo de Canio's Swindon Town this afternoon things got off and underway very early on after just uh, five minutes Akpo Sodji scored after a really good work from the debut boy Stuart Bevan forced the error from the Swindon keeper Wes Fodringham just five minutes later Nicky Rowe made it two Preston North End soon made it three thanks to a goal from the debut boy Stuart Bevan Preston wrapped it up and secured their first league victory of the campaign thanks to a first goal for his new club John Welsh scoring it might have took a deflection it's been a good afternoon all round for Preston North End who claim victory but what fantastic circumstances they were able to claim the three